In this video, I'm going to find the fraction with the smallest entries that is between the fraction 43 over 197 and 17 over 77. Pause the video, give a try, and resume when you're ready. Let me first elaborate on the problem statement. The two fractions are about 0 0.2182741 and 0 0.2277922 if we change into decimal form. So there is no pattern by ob simply observing its decimal values. However, there is actually an algorithm that allows us to pick the fraction we want. So here are the steps. First one is to take reciprocal of fractions. This helps because it allows us to widen the gap between the two numbers. Say the gap between 1 over 10 and 1 over 11 it's very small because uh, it's just 0 0.1 and 0 0.0909, etc. But when we take reciprocal of the two fractions, then it becomes 10 versus 11. The gap is much wider. So a wider gap allows us to pick the number we want more easily. Here's the first step. The second one is that if the numbers have different integral parts, pick the middle fraction to be the smallest possible integer. Say, if I have... Um, three and a half, and then four and one third, to be the two fractions at the, at two sides. Then we pick the middle number to be four, exactly four. This this is to minimize the entries because we are not looking for the smallest possible fraction, but we want the denominator, the b, and consequently, a as well. The entries to be the smallest. Otherwise, then. Like, if we cannot do that, which means the integral parts are the same, we subtract everything by that integer and return to step 1, so the gap can be further widened. Like, if uh, the two numbers are 4 and four and one fourth versus 4 and 4 and a half, then we subtract both fractions by 4, so it becomes 1 quarter and a half. Then we continue working. So let's run this algorithm and see what we can get. Now, at first we have um, these fractions. Now, we take reciprocal on all of them. So I have 77 over 17 to be the minimum instead of 197 over 43 because um, the order will be uh, reversed. So this is less than B over A and then it's less than 197 over 43. Now the integral parts of the two fractions at the side are both 4. So that means we subtract all fractions by 4. We do not pick an integer straight away. So the fractions become 9 over 17 and 25 over 43. And the middle fraction becomes b minus 4a over a. Next we take reciprocal again. We return to step 1. So the smallest fraction becomes 43 over 25. The largest is now 17 over 9. And then the fraction in the middle is a over b minus 4a. Now the integral parts of the two fractions on the side are both 1. So we subtract all fractions by 1. These are the uh, smallest and the largest fractions then the middle term will become a minus bracket b minus 4a over b minus 4a. So we simplify that and we'll have 5a minus b over b minus 4a. Now we flip the fractions again. So we have 9 over 8 less than b minus 4a over 5a minus b and it's less than 25 over 18. Now the integral parts are both 1 again so we subtract 1 on all fractions and we'll have 1 over 8 smaller than b minus 4a subtracted by 5a minus b over 5a minus b and this is less than 7 over 18. Let's simplify we have 2b minus 9a over 5a minus b, and that's less than 7 over 18. 
Now we take reciprocal again, and we have 5a minus b over 2b minus 9a are between 18 over 7 and 8. Now, the integral parts are different. We have 2 on the left side and 8 at the right side. So, to minimize the entries, I'm going to pick this fraction to be exactly 3. Now, I solve this very simple linear equation, and I get 7b equals 32 a. So that means a over b is equal to 7 over 32. Now, we can make a simple check on this fraction. It's actually taking value 0 0.21875, and that is really between 0 0.21822 or 0 0.22077. So this is a valid uh, valid guess, and to really check that this is the solution, you can just simply um, check like 31, 30, um, 29, and see what the fractions will really take. And so our final answer is that B is equal to 32.